I, n number one, I would say uh, work as much as you can, men and women together, to create balance for better because unfortunately if it's just all a woman's voice, um, there's no incentive to do that. So work with allies, work with the men folk and really build it um, together. Number two, don't get too serious about work. You know, if you do what you love and you love what you do, then work isn't like work, it becomes part of your purpose. So truly understand what is it that you love doing and how can you make a career out of that. It's really interesting that 86% of female owned businesses were set up because of anger, set up because of rage. The lady that set up Bellissimo, she couldn't get a bra to fit when she was pregnant. So she thought, I'm gonna set up a company that makes bras big enough for me. And, and the rest is history. So women tend to take adversity and turn it into something really positive. So in the workplace within this is what isn't working and what could we do together to make it better? Okay, so turning that around. Number three, focus on well-being. Um, truly understand that your spiritual, nutrition, hydration, your mental health and well-being, all of it is really, really important. Yeah? And air hostesses, for all, they always say, you know, if a, if a mask drops down from above, you know, put your own mask on first before you put the mask on of someone else. You've got to look after you before you can ever be there for other people. So focus on well-being, 